today I'm going to show you how to locate the cell tower with our LPDA antenna in order to do that we need to install an app called NetMonster there's our NetMonster app first of all we need to turn on our mobile data and there you go the tower is now giving us the information about the cell ID and the frequency band now to look for the tower go to map and there you go we can see the tower marked as 4G using Google map let's look for the tower and there you go there's the tower and we need to mark it with a pin so we know where the tower is now all you have to do is aim your phone to that tower there you go now adjust your antenna to that tower now open your firmware and check that your RSRQ values are between 0 to negative 10 and now our RSRQ is negative 8 which is excellent we can confirm it using our speed test and we get around 24 mbps this time our upload is mostly more than 15 From the screenshot I took, we have three bands with that tower. So the tower is giving us band 3, band 28, and band 1. You can use those cell ID numbers if you wish to lock to them. So just look for the cell ID locking and then unlock it and then input those cell ID numbers. Now as we can see previously the tower is also giving us band 1 which 
our router does not support that's why I have already upgraded my router to the WE826 I have already beyond that and I will give the link below